Loved all the guys and got us this in the high vibrating species on the planet. What it is, what it do. I be living out the good people. What y'all doing, man? I hear myself adjusted in here. Mm, come back. How we living? How we living? Academy mates. Peace. Peace. Salute to you. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. You know what we're doing. If you're new, welcome. This is Academy 7. We are in the realm of the monsters over here, and I am your host, the Riddick. You know what I'm talking about? What you gonna do all like that? You feel? Anyway, I hope everybody good out there, man. You know what I'm talking about? We got another one, uh, 3512 SCP. That is 3512. Uh, the more you know. I would say it's 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 bitter, better sweet, bitter, better sweet. You know, um, the more you know, the more you can go. Um, but sometimes there's some stuff out there you just, although you needed to know, you you still get left with that feeling. I just I didn't want it. I, I didn't want that to be. I didn't want to know that, but I needed to know that so we can put a stop to that, or we can. You know what I mean? So it's 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 like I say it's bitter, better sweet. Hashtag me, hashtag me, and quote me. Yeah, very. Because I um uh, I don't know where that come from. I I've never heard it anywhere, but I think it sounded good at the appropriate time. Bitter, better sweet. Hashtag me. Um. Now looking at the screen here. This man, he gra the graphics on this thing look throwback. Just like uh, me, me, me and the staff, we was talking about the, uh, we was talking about that the, this what I guess the thumbnail about how how it looks. The graphics look like it's from like the shit, like the seventies or something. You know what I'm Maybe it's yeah, yeah, like the seventies or something. Seventies, sixties, seventies. Yeah, but anyways. I'm not going to jump into any conclusions with this one because we just don't know. Because we can take a title and it can go a totally different direction. Unless you, you're hip to certain code. Like the chakra colors here. And the star, which is the, yeah. Okay, so. But like I said, I'm not going to jump to any conclusion with this one. Academy, so I hope you got what you need because I do. And like I said, if you're new, like, share, and subscribe. After is up to you, but no pressure from us, you know what I'm saying, the crew. Uh, we're much obliged. Um, and we're grateful. And thank you in advance. All right, guys. Let's get it. Buzz Thirty-five, twelve. The more you know. Relationships are difficult. Maintaining a lasting connection between I'm yourself sure and another human being is never without some trouble. But the result can be a beautiful thing. Some people, however, are not interested in any lasting connections and are only interested in more immediate gratification. While that's true for many people, some especially excel in this goal or are at least focused in excelling, known as pickup artists. For these individuals, it's a point of pride on how easily they can seduce, manipulate, and use women for their own satisfaction, mm -hmm. moving from one to the next. Countless books have been written on the topic, teaching men tricks and giving them the confidence to become pickup artists themselves. This Today, is, I mean, womanizing. one such type of book which would be disagreeable enough in its own right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Obviously, 
Okay, obviously, some, some just, listen. And everybody don't have it, the gift of gab. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't have it. Uh, but this is, this is, hey, this is dangerous, man. Y'all, hey, listen. Guys, don't, don't. Because I promise you, the sting, the karmic, the karmatic sting that comes behind doing stuff like this. Where you think you at? The matriarch is, is supposed to be a matriarchal planet. And the women have gotten twisted. And men have gotten twisted. And we all be knowing about these things being being in, in existence. But it's stuff like this that we kind of turn a blind eye to. That gets used on people every day. And some folks don't even realize it. But then there's the, the flip coin to that, which is... Uh, what's the guy's name? Marilyn Manson. What's the thing? Uh, man, what's that song? What well, anyway? I think what he what he says. It, it, like somebody, everybody wants to. Uh, some some of them want to use you, but then on the flip side, some of them wanna get used by you. You know what I'm saying? So it's the flip side. You got those that they do the art of seduction to get a woman or a man because it works both ways. It's just since the men wanted the certain men, not all, because I, you know what I mean, certain men wanted to turn the, the whole entire planet into a patriarchal system. You get stuff like this where it teaches a man to totally rule a thumb or down woman in her mind. And she is it's, 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 it's magic. It's basically magic, man. The, the long story short, it's magic. But the fact that most people really, they hear about this stuff and it's like, goes right over the head until you realize that it's an actual game that's getting played on you. And you're like, damn. How could I have been so blind? Because you were seducted. You were seduced. And it was an art. Meaning, they got new and improved and then the mystery is my story. So, and then it's the black woman right there. And we do Nubian. You know what I'm saying? That's the that's that's the new code. We back back to the new though. You feel me? New we got Nubian, we got the Niji. You know what I'm saying? We are the indigenous of the uh the Americas, the what y'all like to call the Americas, we the indigenous of the uh so you know what I'm saying, it's Niji or Nubian, you know what I'm saying? We no I mean black ain't even you feel me? Like I look at I look at my skin, it's not even that. So that's copper. You know what I'm saying? The copper people feel me. Uh anyways, so you it's cold here, right? It's the game, the pickup artist, new and improved art of seduction to seduce the Nubian woman. It's in red, which is root chakra energy, and it's my story, just like history. And then you got mystery, which is my story. And author of the my story method. So automatically they're telling you where they got the information from. Who, it's, who it can be used or who it's targeted at. The white background, which is not really, you know what I'm saying? It's, it, it goes hand in hand with the, uh, with the black. They're both non-existing colors. Um... And the game that's highlighted up there. That's the game. And those that get the game and it's cold enough to play the game. Y'all better watch out out there. Because not only, just, just take it like this. Take it like this. All these colors and flip them. It can be, it ran on the mental, on the mind period. So this ain't about race when I'm speaking here. I'm just calling out what the what happens here. That a lot of people just like the I don't give a damn. It's right there in your face. Once you learn the code, you're not gonna unsee it. You just can't help. It. Some people were born like that, just seeing stuff. But anyway, so that's that. But you flip it. But it's all like I've been telling y'all. It's a war for the mind. 
So if you can let somebody seduce your mind that way, it don't matter who you are. You sway. If you can be swayed that easily, you sway. You know what I'm saying? The mind can be manipulated. The MK Ultra and all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? There's so many ways they can do this. Bright lights, the neuralizer, you know what I mean? Uh, sirens with damn signals all up on it and stuff like that. I be hearing stuff, man, you feel me? All in the signals all up on this. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me stop. It, I mean, listen, it's, I guess at the title, the more you know, you feel me? Y'all better be looking out for stuff, man. That's why I tell you, keep your head on these swivel. It's dangerous out here. Yeah, it is. Let's go. But when the fifths get involved, you know it's going to get even weirder. Weird. SCP-3512 is not a book, but instead refers to a phenomenon that affects women between the ages of 18 and 40, oh, resulting in what? significant Dang. changes to their personalities. And 18 to 40? And psychological <laughs> stability. <laughs> the Foundation is not sure how widespread this phenomenon is, but so far have linked all confirmed cases to an outbreak in Barcelona, Spain, where they've contained nine affected women, and found one affected woman... <laughs> Barcelona, Spain. Okay, so we got... We got Okay, so we have we have a, a possible we got possible more, we got possible more activity going on. Then we have the number nine, uh, that's nine ether. So when they're talking nine ether, etherical, that's the carbonated beings on the planet. That's that's your black people. You know what I mean? Um, that's the uh, the neuro melanin. You know what I'm saying? That that be us neuro melanin. Not melanin, neuro. It's neuro. It's different. There is a difference. You feel me? And uh, that thing back there in the back that's coming up. Yeah, buddy. We got a full connection to that. That's us all day. Whatever the clown, the clown of the sun. You feel me? The clown of the sun. Um, and yeah. This is gonna get interesting. Let's see what they tell us, cause we need to know. Deceased in her home. Women affected by 3512 become much more open, extroverted, and agreeable without realizing that anything has changed. They become far more sociable and lose their inhibitions, but this behavior is occasionally punctuated by prolonged bouts of uncontrollable screaming. Oh, sh These bouts of screaming continually decrease in frequency and duration over the course of four or five months, but the personality changes seem to be permanent. When the Foundation first heard about 3512 in Barcelona, they sent Agent Riley Cooper to meet up with Native Agent Tomas Ray to investigate. Their cover story was performing a mental health survey for the World Health Organization, and they began interviewing affected individuals and family members. Cooper describes the victims as plastic and unreal, with no awareness of their change, which is freaking the families out more than the screaming. Cooper concludes that the families aren't involved, and that it doesn't feel like a basic cognito hazard, an anomaly that alters someone's thinking, because it doesn't seem like a superficial change. She writes that the affected individuals are so sincere in their delusion, so up for it. The women continue to smile throughout the interviews while the families cry. Cooper and Ray test amnestics to try and wipe the women's memories of whatever affected them, but it fails to change them back. Damn, the neuralizer the don't work, what? ...mentions the word apagada, which they find out is a nightclub in Barcelona. One of the girl's mothers tried to warn her daughter about going there, knowing it was trouble, but it seemed the girl didn't listen. Do we have? The two agents head to the club at midnight, where it's dark, we should, loud, we should. hot, and crowded. Sometimes. Cooper waits at the bar while a tall blonde man slides in next to her and offers to buy her a drink. He then asks her what her favorite star is, which she assumes at first to be the start of a bad pickup line until she realizes that he's serious. She notes that the man is confident and charming, 
but there's too much eye contact and his speech is too precise, as he's not drunk enough. Cooper glances over to Ray, and the man notices, causing him to suddenly leave. Cooper tries to follow him, but quickly loses him, although she pays the doorman, who tells her that he's a regular here, and his name is Joseph Oriol. They soon track down his address in Barcelona and break in. They find plenty of incriminating material, but Cooper notes three things specifically. The first is a bunch of architectural plans for buildings, Oliver? utilities, and railway tunnels. Since Joseph is apparently a software developer, it certainly raises a red flag. Secondly is a book on the kitchen table, seemingly used regularly, with a plain cover. Cooper doesn't open it without cognito hazard screening, but she has a feeling about it. Third is a small sculpture next to the book on a dishcloth that looks like a blob of candle wax carved into points with what seems like legs. Uh, mates, academics. <sighs> Listen, y'all. Just for for the for the ones in the back, that's just like, <laughs> you feel me? Um, they these pictures aren't random, y'all. Just just so you know, these these pictures are not random at all. There there there's messages here. You just gotta know what to look for. You know what you're looking at. That's the sun. You count the X's. And then what is this? What are you like stars or something? Well anyways, yeah. <clears throat> the sun the sun's been kicking AA. You know what I'm talking about? here lately going really the freaking and it's it's about to get it's about to get crazy right and these messages are being relayed they, they're throwing some stuff out there this ocean background you no you're not gonna uh -uh. it's not gonna work i'm just saying it's not gonna work because we are no it's not it's just not it's not you ain't getting away. <laughs> You're not getting away. You can't you can't get away from this. It's gotta happen. You can't stop it. It's what it is. It's that, that one you know what I'm saying? That's like it's it's things out there and and you know what I'm saying, in the earth and all that that you just like certain people that just wanna just I'm gonna do it all this, this is all I mean, puppeteer, no bro. No. You can't do it all. You can't control it all. Certain things is just be beneath you. You know what I'm saying? To the point where it's you, you. It's good. That's what you do, which is in your lane. But then there's these things that's just so freaking above you. Like half the stuff that y'all be dealing with beyond your comfort freaking henchin, because you ain't got no front load. You know what I'm saying? All this up here just just to read record to all that. Just just do blah. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? You ain't got enough. You don't have it. Those that's behind here steering this stuff. And you know it and you're still hiding it from other people that. I'm sure they're, they're going to. I'm sure when it comes out, they're, man, they, man. Y'all, why didn't you tell us? I mean, when I found out my dad, so I'm like, damn, bro, why didn't you tell them? I mean, I know why they didn't tell us, but why they didn't tell y'all? So it's it's a lot it's a lot being hidden. Everybody got lied to. That's why I say everybody go get them some baby powder because we you gonna have to slap yourself. I already did a couple times, and I still do when I find stuff that's just like you know what I'm saying. And it's like right there. And the reason why we're slapping ourselves is because a lot of it was right here, and we just overlooked it, or we were just you know what I'm saying retarded. And no offense to to those that's that they try to you know what I'm saying it's like you can't even say, speak certain 
words these days without getting somebody trying to hang you for something. You know what I'm saying? And they know that these terms get used and it's not conveyed toward these people or whatever the illness or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's just, but if it's a mental illness and it's a mental, uh, what's the disability and we're, and we're using that dis disability to our disadvantage, you know what I'm saying? Then shit, bro. I mean, what can I tell you? We're perfectly straight up here and we're still not using it. And then you got the autistic that just got down out here rain manning on our ass. You know what I'm talking about? So, yeah, it's, it's, this brain is important. It's important. So, I, I mean, I, I, I keep smiling in the book. As many as I can, learning as much as I can, whatever I can. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I said in another a record, uh, you know what I'm saying? I, if I don't need it, I, it's guaranteed. What I don't need, I get. It's guaranteed. If I don't need it, I know somebody that do. So whether it's money, food, knowledge, it don't matter what it is. I'm going to break it off with my crew. I'm going to break it off with anybody that I know. You know what I'm saying? Whether I use the knowledge, needed the knowledge, it came to me for a reason. And then the, that, that reason came up one day when, when a homie or a friend or even a stranger needed it. And I gave it to him and it saved the day. You know what I mean? So I take in all types of knowledge, all types of perspectives. But this right here is definitely these pictures that they're throwing up. Because I'm like, man, this shit ain't got nothing to do with what the hell he's talking about. So this double, this is double speaking. They're speaking with images, just like hieroglyphs, if you will. Um, like I said, that's the sun. There's the there's the X's, which X is unknown, but at the same time, X is also uh, the the feminine. You know what I'm saying? The matriarch. And if you count them, how many is that? There's that one, F F O, that's eight, and one more down there. That's nine. So again, there's another nine. And then I think that's three stars, and maybe and then maybe this this bell looking thing that could be a spaceship or some shit, something you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, let's get it, y'all. Stuck into it, made of pieces of Lego and Meccano, rose stems, a crab. But claw. the ocean got activity in it. Y'all ain't finna go there and get away no. You know, that ain't gonna say you. The two go into the bedroom where they find boxes full of similar materials, including quills, dolls' limbs, wire, and syringes. And when they went back into the kitchen, the wax sculpture was gone. Let's get to the book, though, which is an advanced review copy of a text. Hold on, hold on. Are you just going to drop that on us and dip? A pickup artist's Bible. Bible. The author is only listed as Enigma, and there is no publication information. The book Enigma. contains 625 pages, with a foreword attributed to artist Snoop Dogg. And a total of 23 chapters. Although that, the last 12 chapters are all numbered as... Man, that's ironic as hell, bro. Everywhere I go, people say I look like this guy. Everywhere I go. I can't go nowhere. I, I swear, I mean, I'm not like... Hey, listen here. Listen here, Academy. I can't go nowhere. Without somebody calling me Snoop Dogg, bro. I even went to London. When I went to London, even when I went to London, y'all, you know what I'm talking about? They was they was airing his show, the dog father, you know what I'm saying? They was airing it over there. It's like y'all even got the freaking show. How do y'all I mean how how? How? You go back to the early videos, you know what I'm talking about? I'm not gonna change the scenery. Just so people can be on extra notice, you know what I'm saying? Nose day and stuff. Just go back to the old the old the, the prior videos when I first got started, you know what I'm saying? My face all over that place, you know what I'm talking about? And uh, you, you feel me? So, but yeah, man, and you leave your leave your honest opinion. I'm not offended. It just makes me smile. Like that's crazy that y'all think I look like him. I'm not as tall as he is, or make well. No, I don't even know how tall. I don't even know how tall he is. But I'm, and then we're close to the same skin complexion. But he's a, he's a little bit more darker than I am. Um, and. And I think I th and I think he's a little bit little bit more slimmer than I am as well. <laughs> you feel me? I'm like I, I I'm I'm slim bigger. You feel me? That's what I call myself. I'm slim bigger. You feel me? Uh, I ain't necessarily skinny like people like to say, but no, it's uh, no, I got I, I got some definition around here. And then then on top of that, once I actually started lifting things, they'd be like, damn, he actually stronger than he looks. That's that's one of me. That's the avatar I'm in. One of those special ones. Um, but yeah. 
this is crazy, bro, that all these type of these little these little clues just be dropping out like that, man. It's just like that's the stuff y'all gotta look for. I mean, it didn't take you to other things when y'all start watching these movies, y'all gonna be like, Man, this is right, whoa. I'm telling you. Chapter twelve. The first chapter begins by explaining that if you're reading this book, you're mm-hmm. probably a bit of a loser. Damn. The point of the book is to make you stop being a loser. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. I'm just saying. I told y'all, bro. If you get like, listen, everybody ain't got it, but damn, bro. Involving women. The author introduces himself as Enigma and writes that they are going to provide surefire methods for seducing women, so that you can be a star like they are. Because the more you know, the more you score. Mm. Chapter four involves the idea of ceasing to think of hot women as women, but instead as instruments that need to be tuned properly before they can be played. By chapter 12, the text is describing dodecahedrons and how you can mention its schleifili symbol in flirtatious conversations to great effect. Typical fifthist concepts abound by this point. Chapter 14 moves on to discussing Spain, which it says you can learn many tricks from, and mentions Don Juan, a name you might expect to find in a book like this, and Torquemada, a Spanish inquisitor that you probably wouldn't expect to find. It mostly discusses Antony Gaudi, however, a Spanish architect who mainly worked in Barcelona and who is most well known for designing the Sagrada Familia. With a whole bunch of goats. The author writes that Gaudi lived as a monk so that you don't have to, and that he was the opposite of everything the book tells you to be. He was unsociable, celibate, never spoke to women, and died by being struck by a tram while being mistaken for a beggar. Damn. The author brings Gaudi up because he understood that everything has a purpose, and that True. organic and anarchic forms can be used to capture beauty and fix it in place forever. Chapter 18 discusses that strange little wax-like sculpture found in Joseph's home. They are not actually made up of candle wax, but instead some form of fat. The text mentions you can use pork fat, but will have less satisfactory results, meaning that likely human fat is ideal. For the limbs attached to the fat, the text says to focus on articulation rather than strength, and the more complicated you make them, the more precise your sculpting will need to be. Once you freeze the fat for 6-12 to hours, you're meant to carve it into a specific shape, which will grant it a degree of sapience and inserting the leg components will bond them to the creature. Then, when you believe your intended target is sleeping, you are to concentrate on their face, the inside of their mouth, and their throat, and the fatty creature will scurry off. The specifics of what happens next are not mentioned, but it's likely not pleasant. The Foundation has yet to contain one of these creatures, but the largest one they've observed was 3.5 meters in diameter, with its limbs composed of human spines tipped with gastropod feet. Chapter 19 discusses heating up a pair of scissors over a flame, and if you have parents or siblings with you to check that their bindings are tight. It warns not to be tempted to start with them first, but instead to take your right hand, grasp the pinky finger of your left hand, and pull it sharply down towards the side, where you'll hear a clean snapping sound. We don't get many details in this chapter besides this, but the point is that the process disfigures and warps the individual. Mm. The final chapter says that if you wish to know, you must look deeper, and the words, as below, so below, repeated continually. The Foundation looked over the architectural plans retrieved from Joseph's home and found some inconsistencies with the municipal records. There is a side passage shown on the plans off of a high-speed rail tunnel that shouldn't be there, with the descending spiral staircase. Cooper and Ray had to investigate, hoping to find Joseph and interrogate him further. Ray is reluctant to continue the investigation down underground, but Cooper is persistent. They reach the bottom of the spiral staircase and find three branching tunnels. One of their body cameras picks up movement down one of the tunnels, but they don't seem to notice. 
and Cooper decides to head down the middle of the three passages, mm -hmm. as its smooth floor indicates that it's used the most often. They travel down a gradual downward slope for 12 minutes as the tunnel slowly narrows until it finally opens up into a larger chamber with stone steps leading up to a hole in the ceiling. The walls and ceiling are carved into abstract organic shapes with a melted appearance, and the two agents guess that they're underneath the Sagrada Familia. They find a small alcove containing a tight bundle of amputated human fingers pointing outward. They continue down another tunnel, where a dark, viscous substance coats part of the ceiling, dripping onto the floor. They walk for another 15 minutes, including down several steep descents, and begin hearing a whirring mechanical sound. The air grows warmer, and an awful smell breaks out as they find another large chamber, naturally carved this time. Hanging stalactites have been carved with shapes including orchids barnacles, and rows of human teeth. In the cavern is a wide, slow-moving river flowing into a low tunnel. The river is composed of congealed fat. On the other side of the river is what's causing the mechanical sound, three industrial-sized book printing machines with no evident electrical connections. Cooper mentions following the river, but Ray refuses to go into the small tunnel saying instead to get the Mole Rat's MTF to go instead. Cooper concedes and says she's just going to get some samples, but Ray freezes, pointing to something on the ceiling above her. On the ceiling is one of the fat, composed creatures, the one 3.5 meters in diameter, and it drops onto Agent Cooper. Cooper gets several shots off to no effect, and it drags her into the river of fat. Her body camera is obscured for the next 20 minutes, but it records the sounds of wet, sucking noises from the river. When the camera feed comes back, it shows a very large, dimly lit, domed chamber. The river of fat drops into a waterfall, or fatfall in this case, <laughs> and on the other side of the cavern is a fresco depicting the Virgin Mary. She is depicted pregnant chained to a star-shaped rack by her ankles, wrists, and neck, and at the base of her throat is a pipe emitting dark smoke. There is a layer of smoke obscuring the floor, but the camera moves underneath the smoke to show hundreds of small fatty creatures scurrying over one another. Agent Cooper is heard calling out, and the camera moves over to show a person lying face down on the floor. As the camera approaches, the person turns over, revealing it to be Agent Cooper. The person wearing her body camera now is unidentified. Cooper begins giggling, yeah, saying that, that it sounds like that somebody intense, put that on. And then begins screaming for a short while. Or at least she then it refers up. to the person wearing the camera as handsome, asking him what his name is. The unidentified man reaches towards Cooper, revealing a hand covered in large cuts, with seven additional fingers protruding from the wound. All of the fingers appear to be mobile, and they begin caressing Cooper's cheek, causing her to rub her face against them. Cooper laughs, calls the man funny and sweet, and removes the vest holding the body camera from him. The camera is obscured by the smoke for the next seven minutes, as indistinct grunting sounds are heard in the background. Then a sharp scream, and the distant sound of a heavy object landing is heard. The body camera is picked up and thrown downwards, landing on a pile of human corpses, showing one woman's face in the early stages of putrefaction. Mm. Cooper is heard continuing to call out, referring to the man as Baby, and asking him not to go. Several other women's voices are heard calling out as well, and over the next 28 hours, at least eight distinct voices are heard, consisting of laughter, screaming, and indistinct speech. Eventually, the camera's batteries die, and it was found later at the top of the spiral staircase. The Foundation has yet to find the areas depicted in the footage, and neither of the agents have been recovered. If that was all a little too muddled for you, I'll briefly explain. The book and the phenomenon are more fifthis related anomalies, meaning, in general, they're weird, mind-warping, and ultimately pretty bad. Before we get off this pick here. 
just so you know. So y'all can go back through those pictures, see if y'all can put it together. But they're telling you it's going to be forever, whatever it's going to be. It's going to be forever. There's a lot of sun in those pictures. And 411 is information. So they're doubling up on that 411. And you got the 111. But they're giving you double 411s with one being the E in the middle. Homework. But you see how they're doing it? And then they're telling, this is who they're talking to. It is what it is. Don't go there with me. I just know the game. Bang. Men that read the book learn about a process in which they can pick up any woman they desire. But in the process of doing so, they must change and disfigure themselves. There's a lot of meta commentary on pickup artists and related concepts here, as I'm sure you can figure. They also create this creature of fat and other objects that tracks down said woman and does something to affect them with the SCP-3512 phenomenon, altering their personalities permanently. Basically, they become the ideal target for a pickup artist, clueless and pliant, or in other words, a sex doll. In the end, this is what happened to Agent Cooper, and she was tossed into a pit along with plenty of other similar women, discarded once the perpetrator was done with them. Presumably, the perpetrator was this Enigma character that wrote the book and was printing plenty more copies to be handed out to people like Joseph Oriel. SCP-3512 is horrific for multiple reasons, and the fact that, that it's based on such an inherently creepy topic only lends to its horror. Between this SCP and the Vorhole, Fifthists begin to rival Sarcasism as one of the grossest groups of interest, with the added bonus of being so much more nebulous about their larger goals. Yeah. Well, perhaps the more you know would never end up being as big of a problem as Star Signals was, it's far more unsettling. What do you say? That boy tweet. Excuse me. The guy is tweet. Oh, we are. Oh, okay. Yeah, we already did that. That boy tweet. Out of all of the stuff you have covered. The star signal? The stars. I'm, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Why? The star the signals. The star seed? You mean? You mean the star seeds, right? You mean those those bodies that have signals that, that y'all can see? Like a. Professor X and Cerebral? He put the little helmet on. And he went to, you know what I'm saying? And the ones that highlighted red were the mutants. That'd be your, that'd be your star signals on the planet. And that same resonance is uh, planets up there that certain seeds come from. I'm just saying, though. I'm just saying, though. What kind of me? Anyways, I like, hey. I hope y'all like the video. You know what I'm saying? I like it. You feel me? I like the information. Uh, I am very appreciative of the information that comes through, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the more of this stuff that I'm able to knock out and feedback through on the other ends, you feel me? And to do these connections, it's a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? For those that view this channel, you know what I'm saying? Um, disclaimer, I don't condone in trying to sway minds it's already you, you listen we all already have enough in our heads as, as they is trying to weed through so i'm not here to play with your brain i'm just here to give you a perspective different perspectives uh different informations that you can do further research on that's why i don't just go into a, an entire spiel about certain things now some things i will go in because it it, it you you need enough information to like really get an understanding to why it's important to do the due diligence. You know what I'm saying? 
uh, we've done enough of letting things go over our head, and that's why these people got into the point where they'll just put it right there in your face, say it right in your face, and like they're not gonna do anything. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of that. I'm like everybody not coward, everybody not weasel, and everybody's not gonna sit here and just sleep forever and just let it happen forever. That's why things are taking place on the planet now because not even the planet's gonna take it. The animals on the planet are attacking people. They're not gonna take it. The sun then turned up. He's not gonna take it. So. Uh, yeah, it looks like all those that just go around doing what the hell you think you want to do, whenever you want to do it, and there wasn't a consequence, now you have an entire planet with the animal in the, the, the galaxy. You got a whole cosmos on your ace because you, you want it to be the destroyer. You simply wanted to be the destroyer. And now they're destroying all your plans, they're destroying all your caves, all your tunnels. All this stuff is getting tore down. The system's falling. It's crashing. Everything is going. Every, it's crazy out here. And this is the main reason why they tell you, class. Head on swivel. Make sure you keep yourself spiritually, mentally, physically, and emotionally protected. You know what I mean? Uh, do not let the world drive you crazy. Just stay out of the way of all this stuff going on, man. Just try try not to be a part of as much of this chaos, chaotic actions as you can. I mean, that, that's all I can say. Planning on lock down for the moment, and that's just the way the the way things are. It's not forever though. It's just the way things are right now. It's getting better, in a sense. There's things working be behind. You know what I'm saying? That uh that we can't see just like their plan. You know what I'm saying? There's the good and evil. The you know what I'm saying? Left left hand, right hand path. Uh, the the duality. You know what I'm saying? The the yin and yang. I mean, it's it's all of that good stuff, right? Um, the clashing, and it's there's this balance that needs to be had. There's too much of the red chakra going on, and that's why things have gone green. So, and that's why I, I I'm pushing the green energy. You know what I'm saying? Along with the uh, the the others that's here to do the same thing, which are uh, other star seeds and earth angels or whatever y'all like to call them. You know what I'm saying? They're, we're all over the place doing some type of work, whether we knew it or wanted to or not. We end up falling into it, especially when you're contracted to do it. So there ain't really nothing you can do about it. Um, you just get what you get, get sent where you are, you handle your position. I mean, everybody wants to be Jordan. That's why I'm Scott Pippen. You feel me? I, I, I just, it is what it is, right? Uh, my, my, I know my position is just as important as the the other players. So I just need to know that my position, I am Jordan in that position, if that's the case. I'm not the I'm not the MJ of the team, but in my position, I'm the MJ of my position. That's the way I look at it. That's perspective. See what I'm saying? And you feel good about being the perspective. I wanted to be the point. I don't even play basketball, y'all. Just so y'all know, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I'm not a Jordan fan. I like I like Jordans. Uh, the 14s. That's it. Well, maybe a couple other ones, but the the 14s are the only ones I ever I ever buy. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't get anything else. Um, I don't just flip out about certain things. It's just whatever. Um, I stay clean now, but it's just, it's not that important to me. Um, but yeah, when it comes down to those perspectives and team and da da da, everybody always thinks they're Jordan. So that's why I use that, that, that analogy. You know what I'm saying? It's Jordan. You can find, be who you need to be. I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to do my, I'm going to play my position. I'm going to be the Sky Pippen. You know what I'm saying? That's my position, Sky Pippen. That's how we do it. You feel me? So, uh, but yeah, the more you know, the better. That's why I said this is bitter, better sweet because uh, they they start getting in the information that I didn't want to know about. I mean, like that, like this fat. What is a fat river, bro? It's a human fat river. Come on, cuz. I'm trying to fathom that in my damn mind. Ugh, I don't want to see. Ugh. I'm saying. Ugh. I mean, it's a. a f ugh, bro. I mean, that's crazy, bro. There's some things going on under your feet that is just out of this freaking world, literally. And that's the part that is going to go from bitter to sour. What happens when shit go bitter to sour? You can't say bittersweet no more. It's bitter sour. Bitter sour yuck. Bitter sour yuck is bad, bad. <laughs> bitter sour yuck is bad bad man it's all bad there's a lot going on around you man class y'all be good out there you feel me 
Don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. You know we coming back. You know we coming back. We we it's, listen. We got plenty of it. We got plenty of it, and I'm let, I'm letting the you know what I'm saying I'm letting the energies and the intuition to guide me to discernment to which ones to use to co the, the, the go over the cover. We gonna get them all eventually. We gonna get to it. Y'all dropped y'all requests in there. You feel me? Because if you drop something, then that means obviously the universe want me to pick that up. So and. Yeah, and anybody, you know what I'm saying, I ain't gonna worry about it, anybody, you know what I'm saying, drop, just drop, drop what you got, drop, if you like it, there's something that you like about it, I'd like to know about it, you feel me, comment section please, thank you, and we're gonna get a little bit of busting for you, you know what I'm talking about, um, yeah, y'all, but y'all let me know, you know what I'm saying, what y'all think about this, what y'all think about this, cause I'm like, man, them, uh, them signs, it's signs and symbols for the conscious mind, man, come on, Y'all got to pick up on some of this stuff, though. Don't sleep on everything, people. And if, like I said, if the, sh if the shoe does not fit it, uh, you know what I'm saying? If the, shoe does not, if, you, if the shoe don't fit you, my bad. If the shoe does not fit you, don't wear it, Cinderella. But if you know it, put that on, Cinderella. For real. Put it on, Cinderella, if the shoe yours. If it's not, keep going. You feel me? If the information don't resonate with you, but you feel like it can resonate with a, a friend in your crew? Please do. Share. Yes. Send them on over. They could use it. Everybody could use some type of point perspective. Because it's going to be a lot going on. And if you're looking at it in one... Oh, it could be bad for you. It could get very bad for you. Okay? I'm just saying. That's a warning. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Ain't nothing about fear. Ain't nothing to fear. No fear. Just... Keep your awareness so you'll know when things are here. And you'll know when it's around you. For real, for real. Because they're hitting in plain sight. When I say it's in plain sight, man, it's in plain sight. Some stuff is right in your face. You talk to these people every day. From all over the place. Different, different, uh, like different jobs, stores, wherever you go. You know what I'm saying? They're everywhere. Aliens. Extraterrestrials, well, we got to call them extraterrestrial because alien, if you're not from a place, you can be alien, right? So, and we're talking extraterrestrials. They're extra or they're inner. And they everywhere. And some of them have avatars. That's why they give you this stuff in the movies, to let you know how it works. What's an avatar? Well, go watch the movie Avatar and figure it out. They're going to explain it to you what exactly an avatar is. It wasn't a Navi. Those people, it wasn't them. That's not Avatar. Those actual people on that planet, they were in Avatars. That looks like the people of the, the, the organic people of the planet. That's what that was. So they get in, in, in basically our, uh, synthetic organic bodies. A synthetic organic body that's native to the land. So they can walk around and talk around and be, you know what I'm saying, like that. Otherwise... They got to wear gas masks and all the other good stuff. You feel me? Um, so, and this is happening all over the place on different planets. All that you feel me? It don't. It just. It ain't just happening here on this planet. So there's. You just never know. But then there's. But there's coming a time to where these things are gonna be highlighted. You're gonna know who is who, because the the frequency is gonna rise. These people they ain't gonna be able to hold a frequency anymore. They're just, and they're, who they really are is gonna come out, and they, they don't. They know it. They know it. And it's coming. And the sun is one of the main reasons why it's happening. That's why they're trying to. Okay, I'm gone. I'm, I'm done, y'all. Peace, love, all the guys and guys in our vibrate species. I'm telling you. Y'all better know about him. They told you all about him, how he get down now. You'll be seeing him soon. In real time. Peace.